guys, what's up? It's Amstricken06 of Amstricken06.com. And today we're gonna learn about switches. In front of you is your standard rocker switch with an LED. So that way, when you push the button, the LED will light up. And the three wires that will be required in order to make that LED light up. So the way it works is there's gonna be three prongs coming out the back of every three prong switch. The brass colored one is gonna be your negative. The center prong is gonna be what's coming from a battery source or positive in. And the yellow or the furthest one away from the negative is gonna be what's coming out to your lights or accessory, whatever it is that you wanna power. Since everything metal on a car is your negative or ground, all you have to do is ground the wire from whatever it is that you're trying to wire up. That solves one of the wires. The other positive wire will go to this yellow wire. So let's wire this switch up with some LEDs that I have and see how this works out. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to take our plus and minus wire and wire it to our battery source. All right, so we have the red going to battery positive, the black going to battery negative. Now we're gonna take the yellow wire, we're going to connect it to the positive of whatever it is that we're trying to power up. In the meantime, I'm just gonna temporarily attach it like so. And we're gonna take the negative of the light and we're also gonna ground that. Now you will notice the LED is off on the switch, but as soon as I tilt it forward, the LED on the switch will turn on as well as our accessory light. That's how simple it is to wire a rocker switch with an LED light in it. The other style of switch is one I don't typically recommend. It's a two-prong switch. There's no LED on the button. And you basically will have to split a wire, install this in the middle of it, and that will cut power to whatever wire it is, either ground or positive, that you're trying to run. Again, I don't typically advise you to install these this will support up to six amps. Um, I don't really like these. I don't like the idea of splitting a wire and popping this in the middle. I mean, I typically run everything with a relay anyway, but maybe for very small circuits, like a single LED, or maybe just a few like half amp LEDs, something like that, maybe I would run this. But typically, if you're doing anything on a car, um, you're gonna be running into higher amperage. So I don't really like these, but it's your choice. You can find switches like these that will run five, 10, 15 amps. Some will go even higher, um, but they'll, they'll be a little bit bulkier looking. They'll be a little bit bigger for the internals in order to, to withstand the current. But like I said, if you're gonna do stuff for a car where if you're only running a very small, tiny little light, maybe for like a under under the dash light just you know for the floorboards you could run maybe something that small but typically i like to stick and over protect myself with higher amperage switches plus they're always reusable if you don't like something a mod you could take it out pop it in something else and you could always reuse a higher amperage switch even on a very low uh, amperage circuit it won't hurt you can't do that with a low amperage switch you can't use it on a higher amperage circuit all right, guys, thanks for watching. It's Amstricken06 of Amstricken06.com. Visit my website. You're going to find all the different stuff that I use. I have a whole store with Amazon links. Uh, you can buy all the stuff that I use. This way you can just make a really quick and easy install since you watched it here and watch my video while you do it. Um, yeah, so I hope you learned something about three-prong switches and LED uh, switches, the rocker switches. And subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. If you found it useful, share it on with you know Facebook, whatever, and uh, subscribe. Take care, guys.